Handwriting is the result of a remarkably complex collaboration within the brain, a choreography of motor, sensory, and cognitive processes that together create a unique written pattern. When we write, the motor cortex directs the precise movements of the hand and fingers. The cerebellum fine-tunes smoothness and accuracy, and the premotor cortex plans the sequence of strokes. At the same time, the visual cortex monitors what has been written, constantly adjusting the trajectory so that lines and letters remain recognizable. Associative brain regions connect the meaning of words to their graphic representation, turning thought into a trace on paper. That is why handwriting is so uniquely individual. It's almost like a neural fingerprint, reflecting the way a person's brain functions. When the state of the brain changes due to stress, fatigue, or neurological shifts, handwriting can change too. It may grow larger, shakier, more erratic, or conversely, unnaturally small and precise. This makes handwriting a surprisingly useful indicator of neurological health. While popular graphology lacks solid scientific evidence for personality profiling, neuropsychology confirms that handwriting is closely linked to the state of the nervous system. It can help specialists detect motor impairments, coordination issues, or dysfunction in the frontal lobes, which govern movement control and sequencing. I once worked a case where a letter sent to the police began in one handwriting style, but seemed to break halfway through. The letters became sharper, more jagged, almost as if another person had taken over the pen. It felt as though something was happening inside the writer's mind in real time, as if their personality had shifted mid-sentence. That moment stayed with me. I needed to understand what was happening in his brain as he wrote.